you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I got a pretty good coin saving slash coin making method. Now, in order to save coins and make coins, you gotta follow this exactly. So I will go over kind of like the theory behind it and the methodology and how I've been going about this and pretty much what the recent market trends have been. So this method pretty much works based off the Mutt 10 promo and it's something that I've been doing. Cause I'm not, I mean, I, me and Xerxes were talking about it, right? The first week it happened and we kind of had an idea what happened. And then yesterday I had an idea what happened and it did happen. So you can pretty much predict that this will happen. Now, I don't know by me making this video, how much this might hurt this, but I'm willing to take a chance to get this information to you guys and get this out there to you guys. So it's it's happened twice now. I know it's gonna happen again. It's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty obvious for most people most likely. But if you do it right, you could potentially make coins and then you'll, you'll make on the difference is what I have to say. It's gonna make a lot more sense when I get into the whole method behind it. I mean, in the meantime, obviously it probably doesn't make as much sense to you guys as it typically would. Okay, so before we get into this video guys, if you are new to the channel, go down below, smack the sub button. We're at 7.3K, grind to 8K, hopefully 10K soon before our 10K subscriber special. Now, if you haven't already, also turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And smack the like button, boys. Let's get this video to 300 likes. It's a coin method, so I expect some more people here. So if you are loyal, you're new, you got to use this, sure, smack the like button. The best way to show support in anyone's channel, anyone's videos, is by set, hitting the like button. The more you hit it, the more I'll be inclined to make more videos just like this. Now, guys, so this method, pretty much want to focus on over here. It's not a set, but you'll know what to do based off the set. So you come over to the Madden Ultimate Team 10. Two collectibles in here. So week one was the halfback. Week two was the linebacker. That leaves there. That leaves a safety, defensive lineman, cornerback, wild card, tight end, quarterback, offensive lineman, and wide receiver left. So who will be next? We do not know. But guys, it is it is important that the second you know of these leaks you take advantage because yesterday they leaked a patrick willis and bobby wagner was going for like 170 180 and then bob then patrick willis came out bob wagner was going for 120 so it's important that you stay on top of this now in my opinion my methods of how i'm gonna be working ultimate team now I will only be buying cards pretty much based around the newest Mutt 10 player. So it's going to be very in-depth, so just, you know, sit back, play some Madden, and listen. So, pretty much, we don't know who's coming out next, right? A safety, defensive lineman, a cornerback, wildcard, tight end, quarterback, offensive lineman, wide receiver. There's been no pattern yet, right? Because linebacker's here, halfback is there. No, like, if it was a linebacker and a quarterback, I'd be like, okay, so like the quarterback of the defense, quarterback of the offense halfback but there's no quarter there's no correlation or if they were both right here in this side and then maybe they'd be here and here but no correlation yet at all so we can't exactly base it off this but the way you want to make coins right now is you technically don't want to buy players until the met 10 promo drops so now that the halfback has dropped i would recommend buying a running back if you want one now that the linebacker has dropped i'd recommend buying a linebacker now to show you guys these trends here you'll understand what i mean in a second so I would not want to invest heavily into a position that they have not got their Mutt 10 player yet. Now, obviously, this could be over the course of two months, but you could make a you could make a really good team over the course of the next two months staking around this. So look 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 at this. So halfback, you come over to halfback. This has nothing to do with the Mutt 10 promo player. It has to do with what the Mutt 10 promo player does to the market. So if you guys remember anything about Marcus Allen, Marcus Allen was going for about. I'd say 280, 300K prior to Bo Jackson dropping like 250, right? Bo Jackson dropped. He now sells between 150 and 180 consistently. He went down half price. Why? Because Bo Jackson is better. But it doesn't matter that Bo Jackson is better because in theory, Bo Jackson being better doesn't matter because he's a limited time card. So technically, yeah, he's better, but not many people are going to have him. So in reality, I feel like these Mutt 10 promo players open the door for people to acquire the best players in the game for a lot cheaper. So again, middle linebacker, there wasn't many to compare to before, but there was a Bobby Wagner. 
This Bobby Wagner did consistently sell between 180 and 200K. 170, 200K right there. He sold around here. Then his card, the new card came out, the new Pat Willis, and now he's 125. So what I would recommend doing is every week when a new position comes out, I personally wouldn't invest. If you have a team now, it's fine. But don't invest. Like right now, I'm not investing in quarterback. I want Steve Young, but I know A, Michael Vick might be coming soon. And B, there's a quarterback wild card. When that quarterback wild card comes out, Steve Young might go down to 250K, 300K. So I'm not going to sit around and wait to lose those coins. So this is a coin method because in reality, you could sell the players now and then wait for their cards to come back out and make. So like if you sold Wagner for like 170, after reduction, you would have had like 150 and you buy them back for 125, that's 25 coin can't. 25,000 coins made. Now that is not the best one because he is not that overpriced. Marcus Allen, if you had sold him for 270, minus reduction, let's say you end up with like 240, and then you, I mean, that's it, 240, and you buy him back for like 160, you make like 80K. That's a lot of money. If you do it for a lot of your team, you can make like between 80 to a million coins in just saving coins by selling high. It's like selling high and buying low, in theory. And also you could buy your team based around these, in my personal opinion. So if you really look at it, let's say next week the safeties come out, right? So people have been saying to me, when should I sell Ken Houston? And I was like, probably now. Because look at this. So let's say we go to safety, right? And let's go check out strong safety. Okay, it's there. We go to Ken Houston. Ken Houston's 189. You could probably sell him a knife for 200K. Right around here, 209, 200 to 210. Now, the new safety comes out. He blows away Ken Houston. And, his, and the thing is that they have power-ups. You can use their power-ups like my Pat Willis power up and get him to an 89 so by default they're better than these cards so this can use them probably now it's like 150k 140k if a it's insane strong safety comes out so that is why i'm very like hesitant right now because like i know right now i could buy let's say i could keep my ken houston i could buy myself odell beckham jr i could buy myself steve young right this can cost me a few million coins power them up and then in a few weeks the quarterback comes out steve young drops half in price then ken houston drops half in price odell drops half in price so a lot of these cards are overpriced, but I've learned already from week one, Bo Jackson crashed the entire market because people were opening packs for him. Patrick Willis crashed it less, but he did crash his own position, which is typically a result of what happens when your card come out, but especially then because their power cards will indeed be better. Bobby Wagner, there's two linebackers. Bobby Wagner shouldn't have gotten killed that badly, but his power up, Patrick Willis's power up card can be powered up to an 89, which exceeds the skill set of Bobby Wagner. He's faster. He's better in almost everything that, that's necessary for a backup linebacker. So that alone, it was a reason to sell Wagner. Now, remember, there is a tight end. So let's say for tight ends or let's say even wide receivers, these wide receivers should come down to a lot of these wide receivers, especially Jerry Rice. I think that when the new wide receiver drops, if he is good enough and his power up is good enough, Jerry Rice should come down to like 190, 200K flat, like 210. Like that could realistically happen when the lineman comes out, Bruce, Bruce uh, Matthews and Anthony Munoz can come down. And then for cornerback, I believe that is when Rod Woodson, uh, not Rod Woodson, I believe that's when Willie Brown will come down. I have not bought any of them because pretty much the best cards at their position will always retain value, right? Steve Young is the best quarterback in theory because of escape bars at his position. The best practical one. Limited times don't count. The best practical ones. Willie Brown's the best practical cornerback at his position. So they are always going to retain high, high value because everyone who is anyone who's competing in weekend league is shelling out all their cash for them because they want to have the best team. But when those cards come out, they're no longer the best because their power-up cards of the limited times can be just as good as them. So they lose a lot of their value. So that is why I'm waiting. It just doesn't make sense to me. If you, Let's do the math here. So if you sell off these players while they're at 200 something K and then you buy them back when the new Mutt 10 player comes out or even better, you power up the new Mutt 10 player and then you just keep the extra coins. So with Patrick Willis, I sold Wagner for like 140 something. I sold him late, right? Because I wasn't sure. I wanted to test it against to make sure it worked. Let's say you sold Wagner for 180, right? You sold him in advance like I'm telling you to. You sold him for 180. You kept like, let's say, let's just round 170. I powered up Patrick Willis for like 140K. So I got a better linebacker while saving coins. Now, you could also do it like this, where you just sell it in advance and buy back. Because if you just sold, if you sold Wagner for 180 and then bought him back for 125, you made like 35k now if we do that for every position you can make like 350k a million coins depending on how much you sell everything for if you sold steve young for 500k and then the new quarterback comes out he's mobile and he blows away steve young steve young might go down to like 280 300 to practical prices that is pretty much my best method right now for like forget investments right now forget coin methods with sets this is probably the best method like the best methodology and way of thinking to save the most coins 
while maximize like you can maximize your team's potential while making coins you can literally make your team better while making coins and let's say you don't have any of these players right so you can't sell anything what you can do is just wait for the month 10. all right okay cool so look at your phone today's a wide receiver okay so i'm buying my wide receiver this weekend oh okay so today's a quarterback i'm buying my quarterback today that is how i think of it so like when the running backs dropped i already have my running back obviously so it didn't affect when the middle linebackers dropped i got patrick willis now i'm waiting for a tight end to drop to get my tight end another tight end if there's a good one i'm waiting for linemen to drop so i can get munoz i'm waiting for cornerbacks to drop to get willie brown I'm waiting for safeties to drop and you know so on and so forth it's going to greatly affect the market i hope you guys stay on top of this because mutt 10 is important now also guys don't forget to be playing your solo challenge because in 10 weeks you get that free player and that will also affect the market so stay tuned for that but guys this is the best advice i can give you guys right now for how to maximize your team's potential while maximizing your coin efficiency because a million coins right now if you take a million coins right now right and let's say you can get three you can get a steve young a willie brown and maybe a munoz you wait till the quarterback comes out and buy steve young you wait till the linebacker come, i mean the lineman comes out get munoz and then you wait till the cornerback comes out and get willie brown i promise you your million coins won't be gone because you could probably get young for like 300k willie brown for like 250 that's 550 and then munoz for 200 that's 750 you still have 250 left so that 250k if you bought them now would be gone if you buy them efficiently, when Mutt 10 Hero player, when Mutt 10 Hero, when Mutt 10 promo players come out in limited times, you can get an extra 250k. So now you can get Willie Brown, Munoz, Steve Young, maybe Bruce Matthews too. So it just it just makes the most sense to stay on that track, guys. That is it for the video. I hope this does help you guys. If you did help, if this helped you guys, and you have some friends, make sure to share this video to your friends so they can get helped by this too. Also, drop a like on the video if you made it this far and it does help you guys. Let's get the video to 300 likes. It is a coin method. Best way to show support. Drop a like. Turn on the noti bells to be notified every time I post a brand new video just like this. And if this did help and you guys want more tips just like this and content and Madden stuff, make sure to go down below and hit the sub button because more of the content just like this will be coming your way as I do post three to four times a day, guys. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.